Hey friends, today I'm going to show you how I maximize my volume for food. For easy comparison guys, the only thing that I'm going to compare is carbohydrates. So let's go ahead and get started because I got a lot of goodies for you. If you don't know me, my name is Gia and I just love to eat, love and lift. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. First on the list guys is rice. What I have here guys is brown rice with 30 grams of carbohydrates. And as you can see, what I've done is I've gone ahead and taken rice that's, that has 5 grams of carbohydrates and compared it to cauliflower that has 5 grams of carbohydrates. So one of the things that I like to do is I like to just make fried rice. <laughs> so substituting out five, uh, the rice with 5 grams of carbs with cauliflower, um, and then I end up mixing it up with other things. Like for example, I have baby corn in there. And you guys can see that baby corn is actually also really great in macronutrients, and it tastes freaking delicious. I put some sweet bell peppers in there, and I also put um, some furikake, which is just Japanese seaweed seasoning, and um, I just put it in the pan. I put a little bit of coconut aminos in it, and I just mix it all together, and there's some delicious fried rice. Now, if you take a look at the comparisons of the volume of just the rice itself versus the rice with all the other goodies in it, there's way more food in there. This is what it looks like. So freaking good, guys. Now for the other thing that I have a tendency to crave is bread. So a single slice of bread, at least the bread that I like, um, has about 20 grams of carbohydrates on it. And so what I do guys is because I like eating in volume, is I'll actually take a bread slice and slice it in half. Depending on the bread that you have, it may be easier to slice it in half when it's um, just in its normal form or sometimes it's easier to slice in half when it's uh, toasted. So if you do comparisons, guys, what I've done is I've taken the bread and I've sliced it up, right? Um, I've added cucumbers, tomatoes, portobello mushrooms um, in, this, uh, in this sandwich or between the two slices. And I've also added a couple of strips of light life. Light life is just a vegan bacon because I'm vegan. Uh, and it's pretty great in carbohydrates. One slice is one gram of fat and less than one gram of carbohydrates. This whole sandwich has 30 grams of carbohydrates. Now, if I'm going to use uh, two slices of bread, the two slices itself would already be 40 grams of carbs. So split your breads in half, put tons of veggies in there, and it's gonna be amazing. Next on the list, guys, is my dear friend, oatmeal. So instant Quaker oats, maple and brown sugar has about 33 grams of carbs for the packet. And you already, you guys already know what uh, cauliflower looks like with five grams of carb carbohydrates. And I know it's gonna sound strange, but put it together. I also added some raspberries in it. What I did, guys, is I roasted the cauliflower up. I let it um, sit in my oatmeal, mixed it up, put some raspberries in there. I'll probably add some sweetener, like monk fruit extract, um, and raspberries, and. This is what it looks like, and it's freaking delicious. Now, if you guys look at the comparisons of what oatmeal looks like by itself, this is the size of my head, <laughs> by itself, versus uh, with cauliflower and raspberries, I think that's going to be pretty filling. So, some other things that I just want to give you guys an idea of that are also really great in volume when it comes to carbohydrates, and by the way, when you're thinking about, um, when you, if you guys are tracking your macronutrients, uh, besides just thinking about your carbohydrates and you wanting, wanting to feel stuffed and full and satiated, um, remember that the things that I'm adding into my foods, guys, or the foods that I'm adding into my foods, also have a lot of other micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, also a lot of fiber. Um, so uh, those are the things that can also help your body feel like it's being... Uh, saturated with, with all the right nutrients and um, likely to make you feel a lot less hungry than you would have if you didn't add these things. So anyways, here's some other things that I wanted to show you guys. What I'm about to show you are just a few options that you guys have that are 5 grams of carbs legit. Okay, so here's my palm. You like my calluses from lifting? Um, here's my palm. I'm going to just show you guys what the other foods are. Mushrooms. This entire mushroom is five carbohydrates. You guys can season this up 
with soy sauce, balsamic vinegar, um, whatever you want, some friendly, macro-friendly um, dressings, and just put it on the grill. I just like putting it on the grill um, with a little bit of salt and pepper and just letting it get all wonderful and juicy. The other thing, guys, is these are sweet bell peppers, sweet peppers. It's the same macronutrients for regular bell peppers, but this is five grams of carbohydrates, all of this stuff, right? My dear friends, tomatoes. I prefer the cherries, the grapes, because they're sweeter and, and you just snack on them. This is five grams of carbohydrates as well, guys. Here's the light, light bacon. Anyways, guys. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or any ideas that you want to share, put it down in the comments below. If there's a craving that you guys have or uh, food that you want to create, uh, more volume for let me know in the comments below and I'll help try to help you figure it out um, if you guys do like this video or think it's helpful hit that like button subscribe and hit the notification bell ding 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 every time this baby gorilla posts a video all right guys that's it for me for now see ya have a good day